what is up guys it is nick we are back on siri today and we are going to be doing the bloody monastery i want to take a second to talk about some stuff in this episode but this is somewhere that we never farm like ever on any of my videos so i'm happy to get a chance to farm it now usually uh there's like this is one of the best farm spots in the game like if you put it in comparison with some other stuff but you definitely don't need to come here it just isn't required you just don't have to the levels that you're using this for are not exactly the like most necessary progression levels and so it's kind of a it's one of those spots that's really good but it's not necessary it's a really good spot if you're not doing the main story if you're trying to just really quickly level a character up that's uh that's what the spot's really good for because i think you can go like 20 to 30 here with the right gear in like a half hour hour it's really quick which is kind of crazy it's just the mob density is really good here and on top of that it's really quick respawn rates which is also just massively key to, to anything is having good respawn rates so this violent there we go do my pets need food i haven't been... no they don't but i will give them food my pets i was hitting where i was sitting afk getting ready to get this video going and so I didn't know if my pets, my pets were uh, good to go. But this series seems to be a little bit less popular than the uh, Noob's Guide, which I I can get, I get. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to progress this character heavily today. Um, I'll probably sit back and watch some Netflix or something like that and grind out this character to peak level um or i'll watch some box breaks of some cards and maybe maybe do some box breaks buy in and have some vested interest and uh go ahead and grind this character up i'm actually recording this the day you're seeing it so we'll be doing those tonight or today or whatever you want to call it but point is point is is that i'm gonna get it up and so then we can start doing some other stuff. I can have this character prep for Awakenings and Endgame. I want to get this Ranger to 56. That's the goal. I really want to get her to 56. So that when Awakenings come out, we can truly, truly test this out. We can truly test it out and see exactly what we're dealing with. Um, so that I can make a final decision on Ranger. See, the one thing that I will say about Ranger is that she has a really good outfit that I really like. Now, it's like really stupid to, I don't know, it feels kind of dumb to really like a character because of one outfit that they have. But I really like the Gotha Rensa outfit that she'll get, I believe, on Awakening. I, I think she gets that on Awakening. I think that's an Awakening outfit. Um... And it is a really good looking outfit. It's like one of my favorite in the game. I really love the outfit I have on my Sork right now. So I can't say that I like it more than that. But the Gotha Rensa is a really nice outfit. I really like it. And so I'm really hoping I like it. Because not only did I get the character name that I wanted. I have an outfit already picked out that I really like. And so hopefully, hopefully all goes well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to progress this character probably the next time you see it. 50? Maybe 50 will be where I'm at. Maybe a little bit farther. I don't know. I'm not sure how much grinding I'm going to get done today. One cool thing is up here. I'm about to sneeze my mind out. Allergies are still killing me. Is this spot right here? Hopefully in the future they add something and open that up. I don't think there's anything there on the PC version. I think uh, it's a blank doorway everywhere. But it would bring more people to Bloody Monastery. I feel like they could have a really cool something in there. Uh, I don't know what it would be, but I, I feel like it's, it would be a good spot to have something. And it goes like into the mountain, which is really cool. So you could have like a whole 
a whole really cool big thing there. It like feels like they're planning something there. They just haven't done something yet. But we'll we'll have to find out. We'll have to wait and see. Am I just supposed to? Oh, there's just random. I never. I don't think I've ever done this quest with these random soldiers. Corpses on the ground. Let's grab all of these. happy that I'm getting, I'm gonna get my allergy shot today, so hopefully that's gonna help with my allergies, because, man, they are bad. They are not, they are, my nose is not in good shape with my allergies. Allergies are absolutely destroying me. Uh, also in this video, before I go ahead and progress, we're gonna also look at, uh, some of my skills, and we're gonna go ahead and go over and upgrade and update that. Uh, I think one of the main things that I need to do, and I will be doing, I don't think I have it on this character, I think it's on my warrior, is I'm going to be selling the initial uh, outfit, because I can get like 20 million for it, and I think that's probably a fairly good idea. I don't like the initial outfit, so I think, wisely, I should sell them, because... The, there's no point in opening them. I, I like I guess I could open them, but it's one of those things where I'm like eh, Probably not worth it. Uh, yeah, okay, so now we get to fight the boss uh, summon muskin, so I'll show you Huh? Why did it open that? Central market. There we go and Pearl items class-based outfit sets right here So with this right now there are some up but if you pay attention like right here at 23 million 100 thousand there's a wish listed one so i'll probably go ahead and just sell it to that person i don't think i have it on this character no it's it's on my other it's on my warrior so i will definitely probably go ahead and sell that and probably try to gear out this character since the noobs guide is more focused on stuff that everybody will have not everybody for the end of time is going to have that thing to sell so i don't want to i don't want to include that when not everybody can have it i guess is my point i don't want to i don't want to have like 30 random mill in the noobs guide to kind of confuse people i guess because i don't think i don't think that would be that would be fair to everybody but yeah i decided instead of having this kind of more casual we just talk and hang out playthrough i'll progress it and then maybe we can do a stream on it maybe when i hit 56 to get to 57 i'll stream to 57 and then if we're having fun maybe i'll go to 58 in the stream but who knows um i just pretty much pretty much wanted to do this video to farm bloody monastery because i never get to show it on the channel and then i also wanted to tell you guys about what we're doing and all of that different stuff first stream if anybody wants to know will most likely be see it's hard because weekend streams is probably when i should stream it's when most people can get to the stream and whatnot what is, is this dude glitch what am i watching here hello buddy oh look he's he's, he's moving now he spawned in um but i do a lot of stuff with college football and nfl and so obviously those are on the weekend so it kind of makes it difficult but tentatively the first stream that i'm gonna do will probably be on youtube just um the very first one because i think it'll help stuff and then i'll plan a full launch one to do on twitch or mixer i still haven't quite decided which one i want to do but i'm leaning towards twitch just because i do like I do so much on Twitch, not related to, like, myself streaming on Twitch, but I, I, I sub to a bunch of different people, not a bunch. I sub to four different people on Twitch, and I, um, I spend a lot of time on Twitch more recently, and so I feel like Twitch would make more sense, but if anybody has a personal preference, let me know. Open to, always open to different suggestions and such, but... Yeah, leaning towards Twitch. So I would probably do like a tentative launch stream. What is that? September 6th? Is that 6th? No, 5th. September 5th. It's a Thursday, which is kind of a weird day. Um, and it's the first day of the NFL. It's also my birthday on September 5th. So it would be like a birthday stream. I asked it off work. I don't have college that day. And so I think it would be a good day to tentatively do a first stream on uh, YouTube. Um, 
I should have this character all prepped and ready to go for a live stream. And we could probably even hop on my sorceress and do some fun grinding on that. I don't know really if we would do that, but... And then I would probably try to have a stream the following week a week week a week a week day um and get the archer to 57 i have until september 11th and i only want to get that to 57 so we have plenty of time to do that uh and then as well on top of that i'm thinking the fur that would be like the first official twitch stream would probably be like the either the archer or just on my sorceress doing stuff on my on my main account so that's that is that is what it is it is what it is. Okay, we're just going to keep farming this, and I'm just going to keep talking. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's essentially what this video is, is me talking, giving you guys the update on this character, as well as the stream. People continue to ask me about the stream, or a stream eventually, and whatnot. So, I wanted to address it and talk to you guys about the stream. So, that is, it is what it is. And so, yeah. I want to I wanna get back, I want to get to streaming... Um, I need to get done with the two video a day content, which should end next week, I think. Because two video content takes like three hours a day for me to get up, which is a lot by the time I render and upload and uh, get them all set to go live. So while I'm still doing that, I definitely do not want to... Um, stream when I'm in school because I don't have like a mil I have a bunch of time now but I want to have a set schedule that I want to come up with that I need to come up with for streaming and so I have to figure I have to figure that out I don't know if I'm gonna upload the VODs to the channel um, I feel like they kind of clutter the channel but I feel like they would also be really nice if I didn't have an upload for the day people could just watch a twitch VOD uh, I'd probably upload some of the more, in some of the things like getting Archer to level 57, or, I don't know, what else would there be? Uh, like Awakening Grinding when stuff first comes out, stuff like that, I, I don't know. The issue, the issue I'm having now is on Xbox, everything drops on Wednesdays usually, and oh my gosh, my Wednesday is insanity, insanity. So I'm hoping that uh, I'll just be able to report some stuff late at night on Wednesdays when school starts, hopefully. Or maybe PlayStation will just be clutch and their stuff will come out on Tuesdays, but I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. My Wednesdays is really my only bad day this semester um, because I go to school and then my job requires me... Well, it doesn't require me. I enjoy it. I really, I really don't enjoy the job that I do on Wednesday. It's not my favorite thing. I really enjoy the job that I do every other day. Um, but I have to do it. Uh, so, yeah. So I choose Wednesday because the closing manager with me... Um, I'm an office administrator at a grocery store, essentially. So, yeah. But the closing manager with me on Wednesdays is really nice. I really like him. And we get along really well. And he pretty much lets me not do stuff I'm not supposed to. But, like, he's, a, he's really lax. Like, he's not going to yell at me for... Um, like doing stuff that I don't think is like crazily wrong like I don't know like um for example he'll let me do my homework up in the office instead like some of the managers don't want you to do it up there even though a lot of your job is is just customer service and, and taking care of people and fixing problems that normal people can't that doesn't need to be escalated to a manager so that type that type of stuff uh, and, and that stuff obviously doesn't happen like every five seconds, so um, he lets me do my homework and stuff, which is really nice. And the security guard that works that night with me is really cool. Um, he spends like an hour or two up at the office with me. Just We're just hanging out talking, so yeah. I know, kind of a long-winded story, but this is kind of just random, random story time since I got all my points I wanted to make out. But point is, point is, is that I... Uh, I, my Wednesdays are, are insane. By the time I go to school, I get home at two, or I get home at three, and then my work day starts at four. Depending on how things go, um, once I start college backup and try to pair that day of insanity together, I may, in fact, cut it to like six o'clock. I might see if it's okay if I don't come in till six. 
Uh, that would let me grab some food, make sure I could grab some food, and uh, kind of wind down from school. Because I have an hour drive uh, to school and back, so probably, I, I don't know, I haven't done it yet where I worked on Wednesday when I actually, like, went to school on Wednesday. Last semester when I was in school and I did this job, I did not have to go to school on Wednesdays. I went to, went Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and so that was really nice. I could work Wednesday and I had my entire Wednesday free. But not so lucky this semester. So let's go ahead and try to get to, like, 30, maybe? 29? Try to get to 29 and then we'll call it a video we're at we're at 16 minutes i have i definitely have talked your guys' ear off with random blabbering but uh i'm, I'm trying to trying to just inform you guys and uh, let you guys know pretty much what's happening um in a more fun way than a channel update that's really boring so yeah i thought i thought this was the way to do it because i needed to update you on this series specifically and so i thought it was good to just do it on the series and we never farm bloody monastery ever uh so I, I thought it was you know while we were here and i had a quest to actually do bloody monastery i feel like it was a really good time to do bloody monastery like, like farm bloody monastery while i'm here let me farm bloody monastery I really like it. The outskirts of Bloody Monastery here are kind of not as good, but there's like three people on the insides of Bloody Monastery, so I'm not even going to try to fight them for, um, fight them for, what am I trying to say? Fight them for kills. So I'm do my thing on the outskirts here. Uh, did they leave in here? Actually, there's a guy in there, but he's doing the boss, so maybe they left. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, it looks like they left, so let me try to kite and do my super fun attack. My backflip. Come on, everybody. Just absolutely wipe so many people right there. Get all, give me all of that percentage. All of that XP. Got 54 and a half. Our experience has definitely slowed down here. I don't know. Going to 30 here, I, I think going to 28. I think it's 20 to 28, depending on your gear. I think that's the... The optimal 29 probably but i know at 30 this is going to get brutal to, to just farm just here it'll be time to get back to progressing that story and trying to hit uh trying to hit whatchamacallit 50 50 50 something 50 something it'll be 50 something when i come back i'm gonna grind this heavily today i think i hope hope i'm able to grind it heavily I still need to record the noobs guide video for tonight. That will just be a regular noobs guide uh, of the character of progression. We're changing that series up a little bit as well. I think I'm just going to cut out the speed up parts. I mean, I'll, I'll ask your guys' opinion in that video whether or not you want the sped up parts, but I don't think they add a whole lot. They just add time on the video, which makes the video um, have less like substance to it, I guess. If I do the story or if yeah if i'm doing like the story and stuff and just obvious stuff that you're going to be doing i don't i think it just adds extra crap to video that no one needs so that's pretty much pretty much the decision i've made is that we'll just progress the character with we'll just do stuff that needs to be commentated and then when stuff doesn't need to be commentated we just won't record it essentially but i'll go over that more in that video so, uh, yeah, I, I think that's going to pretty much do it. I mean, we're almost to 29, but I don't think it's perfect that we get to 29. But, uh, yeah, we almost got to 29. So, good episode. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. I will catch you maybe tomorrow with a video of this. Maybe not. Uh, I have no actual idea uh, if I'll have a Ranger video tomorrow. But I'll either have a Ranger, Ranger video tomorrow or Monday. So, Keep an eye out if you enjoy the Ranger videos, and then um, I'll have more stream updates. I'll have an actual dedicated video to announce the stream, um, as well as when I go live on uh, YouTube, obviously. If you have notifications on for my YouTube, you will get notified that I went live on YouTube. For the one time that I go live on YouTube, because I want to go live once on YouTube and post the VOD and, and talk about kind of future of streaming for me. It's not going to be like an everyday thing. It'll be a scheduled regular occurrence. It'll be a weekly thing like multiple times a week, but it won't be like a daily thing yet. So yeah, 
I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you have not. I know it wasn't the most like informative video or substance video, but it contained a lot of stuff I felt like I needed to talk to with you guys. And so I'll catch you guys later. Peace.